into the human body, you can see molecules and atoms and neutrons and protons turning around and very similar to universal um, shape, I would say. Is it possible to have this theory that we, in, in whole universe, we are part of a giantic body, which is very, very large, and then we are only a part, small part of that body, and then looking at that as a as a main of scale rather than looking at you know other lives in other uh, stars of a nice presentation. Yeah, I, that's a very interesting philosophical question. So I, I like uh, you, you must have a very creative mind. I uh, <laughs> yes, uh, you know, possible uh, that uh, we're all small part of a great entity. Just like uh, we are made up of a hundred trillion cells, uh, you know, maybe the entire thing is what, well, and maybe that entire thing is just universe. Can you change? Can you change? I have one. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 And having this great speech, you changed many people's life, I think, with this uh, speech today. I have a question. Uh, we are searching based on our knowledge about human being, Earth, and what we know. Have we discovered something that we have no clue about it, new elements? Yeah, it is almost embarrassing for the scientific field that uh, up to about 20, 30 years ago, all the elements that we know are so-called baryonic elements, the, the elements in the um, periodical table. All of a sudden, we come across dark matter, don't know what it is, and then long, long after that, we find out about dark energy, and we don't have a clue as what it is. All that we know is that what we see, all the stars and all of that, is a very small percentage of the universe, which is mostly made up of dark matter and dark energy. And we are deep into the century. And, uh, you know, it's uh, one of the, uh, I think, uh, Hawkins uh, said that this is embarrassing for the physicists around the world that we have no clue of what the universe is made of. And uh, so, who knows what discovery lies ahead. Um, uh, you know, a hundred years ago, we didn't even know such a thing as galaxy uh, uh, existed. So we are on the exponential curve of knowledge. We're going to learn a lot more, and chances are there is a lot more that we don't know than what we know. Yes. Uh, thank you, Dr. Nadir, for your we just, can we just limit, limit it down to the last two questions, please? Um, I have a classical question, uh, which many of us may hear about it. In one of the lectures, in one of the slides, you mentioned that we were lucky and the location is very important, that we, we, we are here and we are a special kind of human um, creature. Now, from your uh, scientific point of view, do you believe that this all what happened and people are here living in this planet Earth, is it uh, just by chance or it is it God's decision or it's a plan from God or a creature? Yeah, I mean, this is a question that I'm asked often, right? You know, the, the, the question of religion and science, right? And honestly, what I respond to it, that science is a discipline of observation. I see, therefore I believe. I see, therefore I know. Religion is a system which is based on belief. I mean, you know, we don't ask everything about religion to have been observed by us in order to believe it. We observe it on the basis of faith. They are two completely different notions. You cannot intermingle them. I happen to think that there are aspects of religion uh, which if we translate them literally, like God created the, you know, the heaven and earth in seven days, well, we know that didn't happen. I mean, there is actual proof that the heaven and earth wasn't built in seven days. Now, 
However, I don't also think that there is necessarily a contradiction between religion and between, uh, uh, between uh, science. You know, I said I can explain or scientists can explain how we got here from 14 million years ago, from the first hydrogen, how it evolved, and chemical evolution of the universe and biological evolution of the universe and all of that. But a lot of people then would ask, well, who started Big Bang? And then you're stuck, right? But I don't see any contradiction. In fact, many of the physicists of our time, they're a believer. They believe in uh, a, a creator, okay? But not necessarily exactly the way you read it in the holy books if you interpret it very narrowly. But I don't have any response except for, uh, for a fact to say that you know, you, you are religious or not based on your belief and you're a scientist or not based on your observation. One last question in the back, young lady there. Yes. The sir in front of me, he said what I wanted to ask you, but did you use uh, the Bible or the Quran?